Let him know we're going to put him in and then send him downstream. I got it. Today we're in downtown Golden in Clear Creek doing current diving training. Divers are in a pool about 12 feet deep and we're practicing search patterns inside that pool. The way the hydraulics work in a river like this, if uh, objects or anything were to come downstream, there's a good chance they could get caught in an eddy or a current that pins it up against the wall of the pool. So what we're practicing is how to get a diver in there and have them conduct uh, proper search patterns. Can you hold me? Yep, we got you. All the gear that we have uh, accompanied by the moving water, which is difficult to navigate. That's why we had to rig up a track line system and a rope system so we could control the diver's patterns. If he were left to free dive in there, he'd probably be washed out of the pool, which isn't that dangerous. He would just surface down the river a little ways. But we do need to rig up a rope system to assist in uh, an accurate search pattern. We're on hard line communication system. So the divers are talking to a communications person on the shore uh, in conjunction with the tender, who's the rope tender. They both direct the diver to what we need to get done. Uh, hold on, Andrew. Versus diving in a lake or just operating in a swift water mode, which is on top of the water, this combines the difficult aspects of both of those. So I'd say this is one of the more difficult operations that we conduct, diving, scuba diving underwater in a current.